Welcome everyone to the lavish and luxurious AAPW training facility in Austin, Texas. We're going to get you to ringside in just a moment. Stay with us. Ricky, you ready? Huh? You ready? Huh? Let's do this, man. Let's do this. Let's, all right, stop hitting me. Hmm? Listen, you took those dudes out there for granted. You didn't think you didn't think they could do what they did. That's right. And they did. They did. Do what they did. They did do what they did. All right. Now, I've been in the ring with this guy before. I know what he's about. I know everything. I know all the tricks. I know all the trades. But you got to understand one thing. All right. Great men aren't born great. They grow great. Yeah. You ready? Let's do Stop this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Many would call the team of Ricky Starks and Sammy Guevara underdogs in this match. Here's one reason why Ricky has had bad luck with household objects. A cousin of one of the opponents got the better of the stroke daddy. The chair, the chair, flat on Starks' head and now the broom, he makes the cover. No, no, they can't end that way. No! A couple of tag team specialists who, for, who could forget the classic 80s tag team of Mop and Glow. Their wars with Spick and Span, Pride and Joy, the groom a frequent tag team partner with the natural Dustpan Rhodes. And here's a look at last week. Sammy Guevara was absolutely ambushed as the Mop and the Broom looked to sweep the competition before we even got here to the AAPW training facility. Last minute replacement for the MGM Grand. I, I don't think Sammy had the rent for that one. But you can sense the anticipation in the air. Irresistible force versus a very movable object. You can cut the tension with a knife. And Sammy fires first. Revenge is on the mind of the Spanish god as immediately Sammy and Starks begin the double team. I do understand Sammy and Starks have been brushing up on their tag team chemistry in preparation for this matchup. And it's showing in the early going as Sammy connects high. The double stomp straight to the bristles. The cover and the shoulders. The, sh uh, the kick out. Never mind. Right hand right between the bristles by the Spanish god. Tag into Ricky Starks. As we're seeing the aggression on display from Jump Street. And Sammy and Starks a perfect matchup in the early going. And I realized that could be a sweeping statement. But Sammy on top again. And again, well, you can see the frantic nature of the mop as he watches on his tag team partner. And the broom escapes, tag into the mop. As we take a look one more time at some of the damage done, the mop will look to rebound and go on the offensive. And the mop gets met by Sammy head on. Mop, of course, is a second-generation athlete. We're going to see if it has the staying power, the versatility. Two count center ring. The Mop, of course, uh, the son of a famed tag team partner, Perry Saturn, from a couple of decades ago. Great success. One, two, three, four, five, six. Another stalling seven, suplex. Sammy eight, counts along. Nine, And Ricky doing a great job of navigating the body weight of the mop, two count only. I know the mop and the broom have trained lean for this contest. They trained for endurance, but their goal was still to have more body mass than Marco Stunt. And I believe they've accomplished that. Mop head first into the turnbuckle multiple times. Rapid fire. Wait a minute. Oh, into the post! 
Now this matchup's getting sadistic. Come on, Ricky Starks. That mop has a family. That mop has a family. Ricky firing away with reckless abandon into the cover and I'm not sure the mop did anything to deserve quite this amount of punishment. And it could be time to finish this matchup off. Sammy Guevara going to take a chance. High risk situation. Nobody there on the elbow. Sammy lands hard and awkward. Mop on top. Two count only. And now the mop. Unloading on Guevara. The mop has gotten a second win and now a tag into the broom. You can hear the pain as we check out replay again, but check this out. The mop and the broom trying to prove they're the real cleaners of pro wrestling. They say the best wrestlers could carry a broomstick. It's the broomstick doing the carrying now as Ricky tries to get involved. Ricky quickly pays for it, and the mop comes down, right on the external lock symbol of protuberance. There is a replay on the broom, right between the eyes, as the mop has Ricky at bay, and the broom has other ideas. Ricky is, oh my god. The broom has gone off the deep end. The broom is wrapped, that's not barbed wire. That's razor wire! Shades of the Broom's days at FMW in Japan! And Ricky Starks got it right to the skull! Sammy was helpless to aid his partner. You see, one more time, Ricky's been lacerated. That sadistic, unconscionable Broom! has maybe crossed a line and tried to end the career of Ricky Starks. And certainly, Sammy and Ricky were not prepared for this and now literally sweeping the floor with the competition, mopping the floor, if you will, and... Oh, no. What is going on in that sick, depraved mop head? Oh, that's lighter fluid. Oh, you sadistic son of a bitch! You sadistic, no, that table's on fire. The mop and Ricky meet head to head. Don't you do this. Don't you do this. Ricky stalks through the table. The mop has completely lost its mind and is up for blood and vengeance. Oh, I don't think Ricky Starks can continue. We'll find out after this commercial timeout. Hi. Do you struggle to make it through the day? Do you feel sad sometimes? Do you feel like you're not good enough? Well, I cannot help you with that, but what I can do is sell you an autograph 8x10. You can go and pre-order 8x10s from me, the Spanish God, Sammy Guevara, or you can mail in your personal item that you want signed by my guys over at Zombie Shout. It's a virtual celebrity shout out. Not only do you get this autograph from me, but you also get a personalized video as well. Visit ZombieVShout.com to get yours now. Link in the description is very awesome. You guys should go get it now. Sammy Guevara's out on his own. I don't think Ricky can continue here. One more time, you check out the damage. And speaking of damage, this could be all for the Spanish God. High risk as the broom down into the obnoxiously sexy abs of Sammy Guevara. Sammy sidesteps. Desperation in Zaguri. Oh my god. And the broom, I think, was looking to hit its signature maneuver, the leg sweep. That would have ended this matchup, but Sammy has shown new life. Can Sammy keep the momentum rolling? We'll find out after this quick timeout.
open. Wait a minute, you've got to be kidding me. Ricky Starks is back. Ricky Starks is back in pain. Brother, his leg effed up. Ricky Starks wants to fight though. Ricky Starks, it's become personal now. It's an eye for an eye as Ricky Starks has been tagged in. And Starks going for a clean sweep on his own. The meeting of the minds. And now, the double goozle. Choke slam city. Ricky Starks, the clean sweep. He's got it. No. The broom barely escapes in time. A tag match for the ages. An all-time classic for evenly matched athletes giving you their all. Blood, sweat, bristles, chipped wood. Wait a minute, a tombstone! The broom got spiked! Compressed bristles! And it's Sammy the Swanton! Mercifully, this thing's finally over and thankfully, barely, everyone has their livelihoods. On that note, the only thing left to do is take this segment and sweep it under the rug forever. My name is Joe Dombrowski. Please check out my websites and social media. Thank you so much for watching, whatever this has been. Good night. What the hell was that, guys? Can you believe that Sammy had paid sponsors for this thing and still refused to pay me my rate for this? Unbelievable. What a smug little asshole. And the next time I see him, I'm going to beat his at. What do you mean my mic's still on? Get out of here with that. That's... Wait, what?